Some of you may know War Thunder as a game, but that could not be more further from the truth. The average War Thunder enjoyer will go as far as to steal classified US intelligence schematics and post them online just to win an internet argument that the new update did not represent accurately some kind of new weapon implemented in the game. War Thunder is very serious business. Okay, sure, let's take a look at this. I don't know a lot about War Thunder, so this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Okay, let's take a look at it. Look at him suffer! <laughs> so, as some of you might have noticed, War Thunder is not doing too great Ooh. right now. I'm sure most Damn. of you already know what's going on, but I had been asked by quite a few people to weigh in on the situation, so here we are. It's also been a while since I've had a good Gaijin rant, so I figured why not. But I'll also <laughs> be talking rant. a bit about my experiences as a Gaijin partner, and what I think the biggest issue with War Thunder currently is. Basically, this can all be traced back to an earlier attempt at an economy change, where the player base also rioted, and just like the most recent one, Ooh. Gaijin did back off. But they came back with a poll. But it wasn't a normal poll, it was one of those ones where both choices really suck and you have to try and find the less- Yeah, it's like, would you rather suck- Classic. Like, what was it, sit on a cake and suck a dildo? Or sit on a dildo and eat a cake? Close. Yeah. Well, well, you I, get to I eat cake in that. one. Hmm. ...of two evils. You know, like US elections. But basically, the winning option was to move to a more rank-based economy. And with this change, some vehicles became easier to play. You know, the repair Bam. costs weren't as bad, the multipliers were a bit better. But largely, uh -huh. it was pretty negative, especially at higher tiers. It wasn't fully introduced right away. And the latest round of changes were a continuation of that. And boy, let me tell you, they were not good. You could find a few examples here or there where it was an improvement, but by and large, it was a very negative change. Many vehicles not only had their repair costs increase, but their SL multipliers also went down. So it was a classic Gaijin double win. I have no idea what it that means. It seemed to affect tanks and naval the most. Again, so why would they nerf this? Because... What's the, like, do you, do you have to pay money for the upgrades? Like, what is... Yes, I don't play this game, but that is obviously the thing. If they nerfed it, they nerfed it so you pay more money. Is this? So you pay my ah? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the classic. Oh, yep. See, like that's what I thought. Yeah, it's the classic move. A 360 giga brain tiers. move. Gaijin also spoke over moving folders, starting with low tier vehicles, because they said players didn't make full lineups. They said players oh, nice just shot, ignored yeah. the foldered vehicles and moved on to something else. Now, I'm sure Gaijin already knows this, but people don't use foldered vehicles that often because they're another pit for SL to fall into. If I am. What is a foldered vehicle? Trying to grind my way to top tier for a new nation, I'm not going to waste time researching and buying a new vehicle, spading it, crewing it just so I can have a more full lineup. Especially mm -hmm. when that vehicle is pretty much identical to another vehicle that I can just buy a backup for. Again, mm. it's just okay. a pit to throw your time and money into. It's a pit you can avoid, but that's why Gaijin wants to get rid of folders. If they aren't foldered, that makes the grind even worse, incentivizing <laughs> nah. you to spend more money. And yeah, see, this is what happened with Lost Ark in a different way. Is that, like, the game isn't, fo like, the problem is, like, you have to grind like crazy in Lost Ark, but the reason why you have to grind like crazy is the monetization structure. So it's like a, um, you know, it's not like an A causes B. It's like an A causes B that causes C. Like I get A causes B causes C. But he's just saying that it's going to create problems down the line. But in Lost Stock, the only thing you kind of need to grind for is engravings. Everything else is kind of easy. I, I, I never spent a single dime on Lost Stock. And I always could do the uh, newest content the moment it released. It wasn't a problem. I didn't play, you know, I didn't play for eight hours a day. I played like two hours a day, which is above the average, I guess. And I had multiple characters that could do well the current end game to the maximum. Wasn't that hard, honestly. There's like one degree of separation, so it's harder for people to understand like why this is a problem. But, like, this is the issue with, like, pay for convenience and pay to skip mechanics. Like, right here. Is like pay co for convenience is such a stupid name. What do you mean, pay co for convenience? You made it inconvenient, so I have to pay now. What the hell? Having, okay, so, like, they're taking something away that saves time. 
They're making it harder to basically, uh, you know, sure up your losses because they want you to lose money. Yes. Because if you lose money, then you have to spend more money. That's what the problem with pay for convenience is. Pay for convenience is just as bad as pay to win. Well, they're the same generally, thing. Generally, that's the motivation behind all these changes. The Gaijin wants to make the grind basically unbearable, so you're incentivized to spend money. Yes. I mean, they pretty Smart. much fully admitted to it. The community was not at all happy with this, so the change was reverted. And Dude, if everyone's struggling to get X, and then you introduce you can buy X in the shop, and then you reduce the drop rate of X by fifty percent, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to milk you. There is no other way to call it. There's never a different situation. And Gaijin did respond, but the response was incredibly tone deaf and very condescending. Basically blaming players for all of it. Uh -huh. They tried it's to say that most people agreed and that they'd be helpful changes, but yeah, I think that's a bit of gaslighting there, Gaijin. They did leave a link to nice. a form where you can leave feedback, but if I had to guess, all of these responses will be shredded, basically. Whatever the virtual. Oh yeah, the feedback. Uh, the feedback box is called the trash can. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, if you if this is not a joke. I don't know if he's joking or not, but that's actually not a joke. In a lot of games where you can send your feedback, it doesn't even get read in most situations. It very rarely gets read. In fact, it's there so people think that you are listening to them and they don't yell as loud of shredding is, I guess, deleting. We'll get into that later, but Gaijin rarely, if ever, actually listens to feedback. Anyway, the player base was still very unhappy with this, so they started review bombing the Steam page, mm -hmm. and Gaijin <laughs> released yet another statement. They again opted for the gaslighting approach, uh -huh. saying that actually Classic. this is for the benefit of the player. You can't Obviously. give the player everything at once, because it will overwhelm and make the game very difficult well, for Well, you them. can if they pay for it, though, right? Yes, that's true, but you can't give them everything because the average player is too stupid to understand what he is given. Oh, yes. Imagine one line of text. Reasonable. Three lines of text. Oh, my God. Now that player is just quitting the game because that's too much work. Because if you, if you, if you pay money, you get it fast. So that's crazy, isn't it? So if you can't give a player, oh, I get it, you can't give a player everything at once, you have to charge a player for everything at once. Makes sense. That's also what true. see, oh, ooh, see, it wasn't the right word. Well, you can't use the right and word. And they will just leave it either immediately or almost immediately. Progression provides opportunities for gradual learning and engaging the players. Without it, the game will lose players right from the start. And also, by the way, keep in mind that, like, I'm going to go back and, and just read this statement again. That's, That's by the way a bit true. Later vehicles are always, always more difficult to play and learn tactically. Without it, the game will lose players. What they're saying is completely accurate. Yep. They are totally right with what they're saying. A hundred games without progression leak players from the moment they are released. Games without ranked systems leak players the moment they are released. It's true. 100%. The reason why it's bad is because you can pay to skip it. That's the issue. Yep. It's not that this mindset, this and mindset you are incentivized is for it. But the fact that, like, if this is such a problem, then why can you just pay money to get past it? Practice what you preach. Yeah, exactly start no, that is gaming just world. complete nonsense because they're Gaijin, not, they're not advocating they're, they're not advocating for making the game more of a grind they're advocating for incentivizing a paywall Find a way for the player to get everything at once you sell top tier premiums oh that's you convenient. cannot say that making the grind worse is for the player's benefit when you give them a shortcut that costs 50 dollars exactly but you yeah, don't really care that about that do you because you know if a new player buys into the game right away they feel incentivized to stick around they don't want to waste their money even if they are having a True. bad time they'll still try to play it to make the purchase worth it in their eyes yeah sure and True. even if they do quit right away what do you care you got their money if anything right. making the grind worse will drive off players even more not only will it drive off existing players, but a new player can install it. See, it'll take months to get to a tier 4 vehicle and just leave. Wait, it takes months to get to a tier? Like, I'm assuming tier 4 is the highest tier? Sounds about and right. And you can just skip all of that? The month's work of, worth of grind for just $70? <laughs> tier 7 Dude. is the highest. Holy fuck! Dude, that's insane. They also went on to talk about the review bombing. 
Of course a review on Steam is a platform for expression, but please don't do it because it might lose us money. These other less destructive ways. Yeah, less I mean, destructive I'm sure ways. To, please stop giving us negative reviews. Who thought this was a good idea to say this? Who thought it's a good idea to blatantly just try and gaslight people into believing it's their fault? The majority of new players just look at the score evaluation and do not read the text reviews. Review bombing does damage to the game in that new players simply won't try it. That's Guys why they're review bombing it. Yeah. You fucking idiots. New player shouldn't play this game because it's a garbage pay to win thing that you are gonna be miserable playing because without paying to winning it's not worth it. It's not review bombing, it's actually called being accurate. They're review bombing it to punish you for making the game worse. They don't care about the health of the game. They actively want to hurt the game for to punish you for fucking it up. Yep. For money. Yeah. They're effectively saying, stop doing this, it's working. Jin, you know this isn't true. This doesn't just apply to War Thunder, that would apply to every game on Steam. You don't see other devs on Steam complaining about the review system. New players can see that most of the negative reviews are very recent, so there was probably some event that made that happen. And I don't know about you guys, but when I see a game has bad reviews, I actually go and look at what's wrong with the game. Yeah. I don't just... I, no, I, I, think that, I think what they're saying is accurate. I think that a lot of people don't look at the reviews, they see the reviews are negative, and they just move on. That's because true. there are hundreds of games competing for their attention, and they don't have time to research every single one of them. I like when I see a game with massive, massive negative reviews, because that means there's an interesting video on it, what happened, what made the situation happen. Absolutely. Let's move on to the next thing. You don't get to dictate how people criticize your game. Like, I mean, for example, like an Amazon. Like, how many of you guys have bought something from a seller at Amazon, and one seller has a 4.6 and the other one has a 4.9, and you go with the 4.9? Do you read any of the reviews about why a 4.6 is 4.6 or a 4.9 no, is 4.9? No, obviously not. You're like, oh, bigger number, better person. That's it. You're done. Yeah, it's that simple. So, like, I think actually what they're saying is completely accurate. Yeah, I think review bombing is stupid if it's a movie that no one's actually seen, just because sure. there's some political message they don't like. But that's not the case here. These are War Thunder players. Some random guy that's never played War Thunder before isn't going to go, oh, some dev is making a bad decision, better go review bomb it. This doesn't happen. If people are being doxxed or threatened, then yeah, it's an issue and shouldn't happen. But as far as I know, it's not here. And Gaijin has the gall to ask for feedback in the forums and other things. They don't care. They don't listen. Well, the I reason why they're asking for it to be in the forums is because the forums is not a... It, it's not a place for public New discussion. People also. What they're saying is that we don't want you to use public channels for the game. We want you to use our private channels for the game so it minimizes the public impact this negative criticism could be yep it's not that it's a controlled space it's that it's a more it's a space that is exclusive to people that are already playing the game complaining on steam is screaming in front of an audience complaining on the forums is screaming into the void essentially I'm very privileged in that i'm a content partner so i get a pretty much direct line to Gaijin. And even then, it's like talking to a brick wall. I think generally the partner program is good. It's run by good people. But of all the feedback submitted to the CC Discord, I can count on two hands. Is that his reload or what? Through. And you know what? I would bet money that Gaijin will try to sneak these changes in again. It is. Oh, they will. Of course they will. Because why they, never they try stop. to sneak them in? Because they want to make money. Yep. So do you think they're just going to, like, in three months? Oh, we don't like making money anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, boy, we so true, we're not gonna so true. Yeah, we decided we're not going to make money anymore. We don't want that. We're done. The moment a game decides to do something bad like this, the chances of that getting reverted are astronomically small. It's like, you know, when the government decides, hey, we're going to enforce this thing for now because something's happening. Guess what? Then when that thing that's happening is over, that that, that change doesn't get reversed. It stays happened so many times before. Gaijin will back off for a few months and then it's we'll come back and add a change slope. very slowly in pieces. Exactly. That's Classic. what they should do. That would be the smart thing to do. 
it's funny, in the response they say that players basically want everything their way, but that is exactly what Gaijin does. I mean, yeah, you can say it's their game, but... Well, of course players want everything their way. Naturally? Like, I love how this is like a, is this a criticism of the player base? No. The player base wants the game to be the way they want the game to be. Wow, what a condemnation. What a fucking accusation. Makes sense. Those stupid fucking players, those greedy pieces of shit. You're telling me they, that are they greedy, want though. the game to be the way they want it to be? What the fuck are they thinking? Pure evil, maybe? You have to recognize that sometimes you make mistakes. I think it's very funny that Gaijin doesn't overtly say that this change was a mistake. They just say that people don't like it. They really cannot read a room. Gaijin wouldn't need to make changes like this if they hadn't ruined existing monetization options. And they've done that by trying to... It, no, it's not that they need to make monetization. The odds are, I don't know about this company, but, you know, like... Why would you ever make $300 if you could make $350? Why, why would you call, uh... Company Gaijin? Why would you ever make $100,000 if you could make $105,000? Why would you ever make $10 million if you could make $10 million and also $100,000 on top of that? People always want bigger number, better person. It's that simple. It's and the problem with that is that usually these decisions are short term. No company sadly thinks about the long term because the long term is tough. The long term... Nice face right there, boy. The long term means that you need to make the game good. You need to attract players, which means probably marketing, and marketing is really expensive. You know, you need to do all of those things, and then you win at the end, which is probably like a year from the moment you start, or maybe two years even, depending on the situation, right? Or you could just milk the loyal fan base, which is pretty much immediate reward, but in the cost of the long term. So it's kind of understandable why no company actually goes for the long term, unless that game is very, very close to deletion. It's not complicated. Squeeze them for money. The Battle Pass is a great example. I am someone that is averse to Battle Pass just as a word, but the first few ones were actually really good. They weren't hard to complete, they offered good rewards, but Gaijin saw they could make more money, so they ruined it. What's yeah. the reward now? Oh, it's the Centurion Mark 1, but it has a stabilizer. Ooh. It seems like Gaijin is getting extremely desperate for money at this point. It seems of like most of the are. premiums they add anymore aren't unique and there are more of them. It's like I've said before, Gaijin only listens to feedback if it already supports their opinion, or if it can provide them with money. You well, guys know I bug reports all the time, right? Especially for stuff like the HSTVL. The vast, vast majority of them are ignored, but Gaijin did listen to reports for one vehicle. It just happened to be an event vehicle they could make money off of. So if <laughs> oh, they buffed it, they'd get more money. Classic. Yeah, of course, right? Because that, that's Dude. the same thing that, like, Honkai Star Rail does. A lot of these gacha games do. Like, you want to know what one of the best characters right now in Honkai Star Rail is? Jin Yuong. The new character. He's one of the best characters. He can completely, like, phase a boss with one Lightning Lord attack. Now, you need to spend a lot of money on him to do that. No idea what he's talking about, but this is a tactic every game has uh, used. Even even games where you don't expect it, like League of Legends. League of Legends releases new champion. That champion is busted for at least a month and completely overpowered and off his rocker. Why? Because then people are gonna buy him. They're gonna buy the new overpowered champion. If you nerf it the next day, well, people are not gonna buy the champion because it's shit. But if you but if it's continuing to dominate for a month or maybe even two. Now, that's when people want to buy it. But the people that have them can fucking do that. Not really. No. Like, he's very good if you can wail on him, and he's not very good if you can't. So it's like, the character is, like, ridiculously fucking strong if you can invest a ton of money into it. Like, I'm talking about, yeah, E6 plus weapon, right? Or, like, anything plus weapon. Birds. I had a conversation about Tecton, uh, with this about Tecton. Well, yeah, with this... Complicated like today birds. for like an hour. Like all I'm saying is that I don't think it's a surprise that the new characters come out and they're super fucking buffed. Yep. And it's the same thing with Sila. Sila was like one of the best fucking characters and yeah. still is. Well, that's the one that everybody's spending their money on. And I can guarantee you that in six months, 
the characters that are coming out in Honkai Star Rail, the the new banner characters are going to be really good. Yeah. It it's this it's is a now classic much tactic. Much more powerful than it used to be. I would say it was pretty overpowered for a while, and after they got their money's worth, they moved it up in BR, mm -hmm. as they typically do. But yeah, the idea that they would make the grind even worse so they could get more money is just obscene. Even before these changes, it was bad. I have premium and often use premium vehicles, but my SL stayed pretty much constant. And I am Oof. not a bad player, you guys know. I can get aces or double aces pretty frequently, but even that isn't enough to overcome the economy. Is that a bomber? I sometimes grind vehicles when I don't need to, just to sort of stay in tune with the community. And often the grind is so bad that I end up asking Gaijin for the vehicles anyway. But normal players can't do that. <laughs> Their only option is... <laughs> that's like, hilarious! Yo, can I just get this? Dude, Apply that's hilarious. I thought we all generally agreed that if a game was free to play, that meant you could play it normally without paying, but if you wanted extra content or you wanted to skip something, you could just pay. Apparently, that's not how Gaijin wants things to be. Well, I think that, like, having to skip stuff to pay, like, that is, like, I mean, that's basically the foundation of free to play. But it's like, whenever playing the game, like, whenever it becomes so odious and so fucking odious monotonous or tedious. to just play the game normally as a free to play player, that's whenever free to play games die. The good free to play games are the ones that make free to play players think that they're getting away with what they're getting on their account as being free to play. Even though, like, you might sound... That sounded questionable and stupid. What he means to say in this situation, a good free to play game will give you enough progression, enough new things, enough toys to play that you are going to be invested and you and you will not complain, oh, it's been 15,000 months and I have not unlocked a single small thing, you know? Haven't even unlocked a skin. You know, different paint size, still using that one shade of grey. A good free-to-play game is going to trickle you these things constantly so you do not get bored, but the bigger things that you see are, you know, you're, you're here, the next thing is there, and you're going to reach it in like three days. But there's a thing here that you really, really want that's going to take you like a month, you know? And, and you can just buy that. You can, you can just buy that. And considering these things are trickled in like that, a lot of games will just space these really, really, really big ticket items far apart from each other so people want to buy it. That's a good way to actually uh, make people uh, spend money because they're getting rewards. They're getting useful things. They're getting new things that they want. But the real, real diamonds are far apart. Oh, that sounds stupid. Okay, that's fine, but it's true. If you went back three or four years and asked someone if War Thunder was pay to win, they'd probably say that premium isn't necessary, it just speeds things up. Uh -huh. Nowadays, that's not really true, is That would be good. I've been very dissatisfied with Gaijin recently for a number of reasons, and this is just the icing on the cake, really. They have become so blatantly blinded by profit that it's just ridiculous. Wow. And yeah, you can say it's their job, it's to make money. But I really think people underestimate just how much having goodwill with a customer can bring oh, in money. Oh, he I've dropped enough a thing. I've to know the customer isn't always right, but I dude, also know he you can't nuked, bring bridges. Dude, before. he just literally Hiroshima right there. What the hell? Worth the customer is always right, but the customer is a collective, not the Karen who's mad who wants a refund. The customer is always right, but they are right in stupid ways if you are a developer. So you need to make the customer feel that they are right and they are getting what they ask for. The customer is a collective of all of the people that are buying things at a store or that are a, uh, a, a, a like some sort of a marketplace. That's what the customer really is. And I think that in that regard, the customer is always right. It's... In that regard, I think the customer is always wrong because the average customer is going to say, yep, everything for free right there. I just logged in. Give me all the free things. Give me this. Give me that. Give me everything. So, no, the customer is not always right. It's an aggregate. Yes, exactly. Thunder's biggest problem is the Gaijin always thinks they know best and that they keep trying to find new ways to squeeze money out of the player base. Anyway, I feel like a broken record at this point, so I'll just end the video here. Good Let stuff. me know what you guys think. I might be acting too harsh, Pretty I don't know, good I'm just stuff. very no. tired. If you have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the Ew. next one. Well, it's really great we have somebody like, uh, what's his name, Spooksen, who's able to just, like, you know, give a fucking 
really good analysis of this. Uh, like, yeah, this is a huge W. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that there's somebody out there who, like, really understands it and can still talk about it. Uh, they still have lots of... Well, that was a lot of basic stuff, but it's true. The player, the drama doesn't affect them too much. It, the game's on Steam, right? Because it was Steam Charts. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Ooh, you know, that's uh, interesting. How many people are playing it? War, Thunder... Uh, let's see, charts, we're looking at 30... No, oh, there is a slight drop. ...playing the game, that's a lot. No, wait, actually, what is this? There's, there's a bump here, but then it goes down? Is this new or old? And, and yeah, I mean, like, really... Lifetime I mean, player unless count, this wow. number actually goes down, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. They also have their own launcher. Yeah, if they've got their own launcher on top oh. of this, this is a real... Wait, they have their own launcher and Steam charts are doing pretty well? I'm not gonna lie, this is a good game. No wonder they can afford so many, uh, you know, ads on everything. Wow. And you're... So, you're telling me this chart is essentially going up, up, and up. And they are still getting greedy? That's a bit sus. That... Why? Companies usually don't do stupid stuff like this if the charts are going up, because look at this. Boop, 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 and it's going up. That's so stupid. Companies start to do desperate things like this when the charts start to go down, because they uh, they need to equalize. Really popular game. It's crazy, because I've never even heard of this before. I can see why it's popular. Blowing up other tanks looks very satisfying in it this game. It did look satisfying, through. But yeah, I didn't know that it was a big game. Yeah, upward trends really unusual. Yeah, what an incredible yeah. like pattern of growth here. This is this is awesome for them. And they intentionally just sabotage it. Did they... The fact that they have an upward trend here in the player base, and most likely if it's the if it's the steam charts their own launchers probably also going up usually those things are uh, very equal if one goes down the other one goes down because you know the people on steam playing are not a different breed from the people that play from their own launcher so this kind of makes only sense if the developers of war thunder actually unironically believed that they can get away with that and their audience is going to be so stupid that they're not going to get mad. That is the only explanation for a dumb move like that. So I guess it's really, and, and if you look at like the, uh, you know, the disparity here, like this is like, you know, the 50% to 100 like I talked about. This is all organic player base here. So... You playing this for an ad? No, no. <laughs> if it's if this was an ad, they'd be asking for a fucking refund, okay? So yeah. Probably. Look at the reviews. Well, the truth is that they're gonna be bad, but who honestly cares about the reviews? Anyway, very interesting situation. Wow. I I would never expected their charts to just go up. That they ruined a good thing. They they completely just decide, you know what, I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot. I'm going to take this RPG, point it in my head, and then see what happens. That, that's amazing. Anyway, a like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh,